This video is sponsored by Artlist. Hi everyone, in this tutorial I am going to show you how to create a TV power off effect in Premiere Pro, as you can see on the screen. So, before we proceed I'm excited to announce that I've just added a TV power impact pack to my store, available for only $4. This pack includes four different advanced TV power on and off effects, along with a sound effect. It's super easy to use, just drag and drop onto your footage. If you're interested, you can find the pack link in the video description. I hope this pack will save you a ton of time. Now, let's dive into the Premiere Pro to create a TV power off effect. As you can see on the timeline, I have already got a stock footage from Artlist. First of all, let's right click on the video layer and then click on Nest. Now we can call this TV power off effect. After that, click on OK. So that we can easily change the video footage in the future in case if we need it. In the next step, we need to extract a 15 frame video clip from the end of this footage. So that we can apply all the built-in effects of the Premiere Pro to make the TV power off effect. Let's move the time indicator to the end position of the footage. And then, let's move the time indicator 15 frames backward. Then, we can select the razor tool and cut it here. Alright, this is the 15 frames clip, and we are going to apply all the effects in the clip. Next, let's go to the effects panel to apply a lens distortion effect. And then, we have to apply another effect. This is a transform effect. Let's drag and drop the transform effect to this clip. After that, we have to apply another effect. This is a Lumetri color effect. Let's drag and drop the Lumetri color effect to this clip. Again, I am going to apply another effect. This is a fast blur effect. Let's drag and drop the fast blur effect to this clip. And lastly, I am going to apply another effect. This is a noise effect. Let's drag and drop the noise effect to this video clip. All right, in the next step, make sure the video clip is selected and move over to the effect controls panel to customize all the effects. Firstly, we have to customize the lens distortion effect. Let's move the time indicator to the beginning of the video clip. And then, we have to click on the stopwatch icon of the curvature parameter to add a keyframe. Next, move the time indicator 5 frames forward. And then, we have to make the curvature parameter value around negative 8. Next, let's click on this drop-down menu to hide all the parameters of the lens distortion effect. After that, let's customize the transform effect. Firstly, we have to uncheck the uniform scale. Once you uncheck this option, you'll be able to independently adjust the scale of the layer's width and height. This allows for more precise scaling and creative adjustments. Let's move the time indicator to the beginning of the video clip, and then click on the stopwatch icon of the scale height parameter to add a keyframe. Next, move the time indicator five frames forward. After that, we have to make the scale height parameter value around one. And now, we have to click on the stopwatch icon of the scale width parameter to add a keyframe. Next. Move the time indicator five frames forward. And then, let's make the scale width and height parameter value around zero. Now we are done. As you can see on the program monitor, it looks like a TV power off effect. Next, let's click on this drop down menu to hide all the parameters of the transform effect. In the next step, from the Lumetri color effect, click on the drop down menu of the basic correction property. Here we have to customize the exposure of the video clip. That's why, let's move the time indicator to the beginning of the video clip. And then, click on the stopwatch icon of the exposure parameter to add a keyframe. Next, move the time indicator 5 frames forward. Now, let's make the exposure parameter value around 7. Again, let's click on this drop-down menu to hide all the parameters of the Lumetri color effect. Next, let's adjust the fast blur effect and add some keyframes. Move the time indicator to the beginning of the video clip, and then click on the stopwatch icon of the blurriness parameter to add a keyframe. Next, move the time indicator five frames forward. After that, we have to make the blurriness parameter value around 13. And then, move the time indicator to the end position of the video clip. Here, we have to make the blurriness parameter value around one. In the last step, we have to customize the noise effect. Firstly, move the time indicator to the beginning of the video clip, and then move the time indicator five frames forward. Next, we have to click on the stopwatch icon of the amount of noise parameter to add a keyframe. Again, move the time indicator five frames forward. After that, let's make the amount of noise parameter value around 50%. All right, now we are done. Let's see how it looks now. As you can see on the program monitor, the TV power off effect creation is almost complete. In the last step, let's move over to the effects panel to apply another effect. This is a grid effect. Let's drag and drop the grid effect to this video clip. Next, move over to the effect controls panel to customize the grid effect. Firstly, 
Let's make the X and Y anchor parameter values around 0. Next, we have to make the X and Y corner parameter values around 8. And then, make the border parameter value around 2. After that, from the blending mode parameter, we have to select Add. Next, move the time indicator to the beginning of the video clip. And then, click on the stopwatch icon of the opacity parameter to add a keyframe, and make the opacity value around 0%. Next, move the time indicator 5 frames forward. After that, we have to make the opacity parameter value around 50%. Next, move the time indicator 5 frames forward. Let's make the opacity parameter value around 100%. All right, now we are done. Our TV power off effect creation is complete. Let's see how it looks now. As you can see, it looks great. In this way, you can create a TV power off effect inside Premiere Pro. This step is optional. You can skip this step. I have got a TV power off sound effect on my computer. Let's see how it looks after adding a sound effect to the timeline. It looks great. By following these steps and experimenting with the techniques, you can create a convincing TV power-off effect that adds depth and realism to your video projects.